Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah. If this is your first time, then welcome. I love beauty, makeup, and skincare, so if that's what you like, then we have common interests, so you should keep watching this video. Um, so I'm just going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Maybe not so chatty, just get ready with me, but also I'll be trying out some new makeup. Um, so I have the new, not new, but to me it's new. I have the Hindash Beautopsy palette that I got um, earlier this week and um, I dipped into it a couple times but I wanted to show it to you guys um, on my channel. And then I have some PR that I got from a company called Lux. Um, so they sent me two, um, it's like an eyeliner kit with like eyeliner stamps. I'll show you guys how that works but also... Um, this Lash Cara Pro Kit. So it's like the type of false lashes that you attach um, underneath your lashes. Um, and I've never tried that before and I'm going to attempt to try that on camera with you guys. So I hope that um, it'll be entertaining and that I don't go blind um, by poking my eye out. So anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to zoom you guys in and let's get started. Alright guys, um, so I'm just going to start my face off with a primer. I actually didn't put any cream on my face this morning after I washed. Like I did my whole like serum routine but I didn't put anything on afterwards because I was just, I don't know, I was kind of busy but not busy this morning. Um, so I was kind of just feeling a little sad today to be honest. Um, and I just needed some time to just like, I don't know, meditate and just think about things and just calm myself down. Um, I don't know, calm myself down sounds a little bit intense, but it was just like, I just had to like gather my thoughts and just kind of process like why I was feeling this way and, um, I don't know, just... You just need those quiet times, you know, when you just need to be in your thoughts and just be like, hey, like, why am I feeling this way? What is causing me to feel this way? And like, how can I move forward? So I just had one of those moments today. And um, yeah, it was good. I feel much more calm and I feel like I can move forward from feeling this way. And, you know, if you guys ever feel that way, like, let me know how you guys cope. Um, sometimes I just kind of, like, cry it out. <laughs> That's kind of, like, my thing. I feel like after crying, you feel so much better. Um, but, yeah. Oh, uh, I just put on the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it does have, like, a nice, smooth, but grippy finish. And then I'm going to go in with the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, which I've reviewed. So if you are interested, I'll put a little thing on here, whichever side it is. I love this foundation. It's so good. I can't stop using it. But I'm just going to take a wet sponge. So, oh, look at that. So good. Also, it looks really light on my skin at first, but um, after it dries down, I feel like it's my color. I have the col the shade 190. Okay, so that is the foundation. You can see, like, the finish is so nice. It's so good. It's, like, glowy, but not too glowy. But, like, right now it's still a little bit wet, so it will dry down to a little bit more of a... I don't know, like a dewy satin kind of finish. And then I'm going to cover my dark circles with the Rose Ink Concealer. This concealer I love. It's so creamy. Um, it like still creases. Hello? Alright, I'm back. My light just decided to not work. But everything's fine. I'm going to blend in my concealer. I love this concealer so much. Like I was saying, it's like creamy, but um, 
it has like really great coverage. It's hydrating and I don't know. I just really like it. The consistency, the texture is so nice. Like it's still, um, it will crease if you have lines, but again, you know, you can just fix that with powder. So I don't really see like a bat, like a big issue with that. Okay. So that is the coverage of the concealer. Very good. And then I'm going to set my under eyes with this powder from Pond's. It's the magic powder. Um, this is like super popular in like Southeast Asia. I got this as a gift um, from someone who went to Thailand. And I've been loving it. And like it gives you like a really nice matte finish, but I'm just going over the points where I have like the concealer on, but might crease later. So I don't know if you guys can see the finish. It's pretty smooth. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with, um, I'm not gonna like super contour, but I'm gonna go in with the Hindash Beautopsy palette and then use um, the shade Feel and Tan Lines mixed together to contour. I'm not a makeup artist, so I really didn't need this palette, but I've always wanted it since he released it, and because it was on sale, I just immediately, like, got it, and I have no regrets. It's so good. Um, do you need it? Maybe. Maybe not. It is... Kind of like, it's a palette where you have to, like, learn how to use and, like, be comfortable using it. So it does take some time. Um, but the pigment and the texture of the powders blend so well. So I'm just going to contour here. And it's so buildable, too. And then I'm going to contour my nose using the same method, but um, I'm going to dip into tan lines and just like a little bit of feel. Oh, sorry. I'm not even showing you guys. It's like the worst YouTuber ever. Um, so these two. And I like to, when I contour my nose, I like to go into my eyebrow area so that you can kind of see like a smooth transition from your eyebrows to your nose. So yeah, that's about it. And then just blending it in. I think also like looking down with like some kind of light source helps you see like where the shadows would be. And I'm gonna do a button nose, so line here around and if it's too harsh you can always go back with your sponge let's go into the eyes since I have the palette here with me um, so the great thing about this one is that you get 12 different colors 12 shades um, but then you also can count the shades that you can blend in the middle part here so you know it's very versatile like, um, again, you can even use, like, the yellow powders for, like, um, your under eyes as well. Um, and also as, like, a highlight. I like that you have a very stark white color here, but also a very dark black here for a liner. So, hmm. I will go in with, again, I'll go in with feel again to just carve out my eye shape. I dimmed the light a little bit and then did a little bit more of a zoom so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I started with a crease um, in my eye with Feel. Okay, and then after that I'm going to go in with Intra, which is um, the very like dark reddish brown down here. And then go in a little bit more detailed into the crease using the same brush. Also, you can, I feel like patting it in also helps 
to kind of saturate the color in the area that you want. Um, I think I'll go in with like a lighter shade um, on the on the lid. So I'll probably go in with uh, lines, which is the lightest color here. So I'm using a flat brush. Add some of the white near the inner corner to brighten it up. My gosh. I bought a caboodle from TJ Maxx the other day. I don't know why. I was just like, I want to organize, so I bought a purple caboodle. And I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with it right now. So it's just sitting on the floor, <laughs> waiting to be filled up with stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little powder black liner. Okay, so there you have the eye. It's not complete. I don't think this is not what I'm envisioning for the completed eye. Um, I also forgot, uh, I was going to show you guys how to use the Lux um, eye, uh, eyeliner stamps. So you have one pencil that has the right and left stamp on it, so it looks like this. Maybe I can, if you guys can see it. So it's like a little wing, and then you just stamp it onto the corner of your eye. So I know I just did a pencil liner, but let's just go with it. We're just having fun. So um, so this is the right. So there's like a little um, indent, so that's where the corner piece goes. And then you just line it up, and then you just stamp. There you go. And so that'll be kind of like your guiding, like, guiding line to how to line your eyes later and like the angle. And so I'm just going to do that to the other eye. And then you just have to switch the stamp. And there you go. That's it. And then the other liner in the pack comes with a felt tip liner, but also a handy eraser um, side. So if you make a mistake, you can just kind of like clean it up. It's pretty genius. So here I can just guide the line. It's a little blunt, so I'm going to drag it out. Here's a zoomed in. So you can see how like clean it is after you use the um, eraser. Okay, I'm just going to tight line my eyes. I can't tight line with like a felt tip marker. I always have to use like a cream liner. This is from Clio. The so sharp, so simple. All right, um, let's do the rest of the face. I'm going to go back into the eye later with um, this lash system that they sent over. It looks a little crazy, but it looks like this. But yeah, let's do the rest of the face. Um, I'm going to go in with uh, the bronzer from Hourglass. This is the natural bronze light, yeah. Just to warm up my face. I think it's one of my favorite bronzers too. I'm gonna go back into the Beautopsy Hindash palette uh, and then use, what should I use? Uh, I'll use Boy and Wonder mixed together to create a blush. Okay, um, my under eyes are looking a little dull, so I'm going to add some shading um, on my lower lashes. I'll probably go in with tan lines, and then just sweep that across. Also, because I pretty much hid the liner, the powder liner that I did with um, Fatoum, I'm just going to probably use the same shade but just kind of connect the the wing to the bottom lashes here 
but it looks a little bit more cat eye like. This is the Rose Ink Eyebrow Gel. I'm just gonna sweep that across. It has zero color in there, but I guess it gives you some shape. I think also clear the clear gel kind of helps um, remove any of the foundation that's like been stuck in or on your eyebrows so that it doesn't lighten it up. So there's that. I'm going to probably also go in with the Kosas Airbrow. This is also a really good brow product. Um, dip back into uh, the Hourglass palette and use this highlighter. I'm done. Almost. I keep saying that throughout the whole video. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Um, okay, let's go into this. I'm so scared. I don't know how to do this. And they didn't like write any instructions on how to do this, so I'm just gonna go off of what I I've seen. Uh, so I know that you use this bond thing um, to it's like the glue. So instead of putting it on your like lash line, you put this on your lashes. <sighs> okay. Um, should I curl my lashes? I don't know. Um, maybe. Do I put mascara on? Probably not, right? Okay. Let's just let's just do it. So, okay, this is the bond. Looks like this. It's like a tiny little spoolie with glue on it. Oh my gosh, is this I feel like this is too much glue. Okay, uh I think I have to act fast because I don't want the glue to like super dry. So they have this like little tweezer thing. And then I think I'm supposed to just like place them under the eye. So, and they all look the same length. So I'm just gonna start in the middle. Guys, I don't think I was supposed to put the glue all over the lashes. That looks okay. And then there's a sealant. So I'm gonna put that over the lashes. It looks natural. It looks like I, sh I think I made a mistake. I think I shouldn't have put glue all the way to the ends of my lashes, just to the base. So because I have another eye, that's my second chance. So I'm going to try that on this eye and see how that compares. This side mm, looks much more natural because you can't see the clear glue that's sitting on top of my lashes. So I have a spoolie. I'm just going to try to spoolie it off. Oh my god. I think I'm going to pull my eyelashes off. Okay, don't recommend, I don't recommend that. Yet yeah, I'm doing it again. This is much more intense than I thought. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this worth the trouble? Like, they seem like they're stuck on. So if you are going swimming or going to a party that you're going to be there all day, all night, like maybe, sure, but I don't know. For every day, I don't think I could do this, to be honest. And thank God they give you a cleansing oil that goes with it. So, you know, it'll be easier to take off. Let me just finish the lips. I'm going to go in with a Fenty, uh, Fenty Icon lipstick in a uh, Scholar Sista. It's like a really pretty rose, nude rose shade. Yes, this is, this is it. This is going to be everything. Um, I think the makeup itself looks very nice. Like it's very soft, not too like over the top. I could do it every day. The only thing that's bothering me right now are the eyelashes. Like, it's my fault that I didn't know how to put these on and I just kind of went with it. But also th the effort that it takes to put on these like individual lashes underneath your lash, but also having to put the glue and then the sealant on top. Ooh, I don't think I could ever do this ever again. Um, but I won't say never because they look good. 
they look natural they don't feel like super heavy I just need to like place them right so that like the ends of the lash like the lashes don't like keep poking me um but yeah I'll have to show you guys how they come off too but yeah thank you for watching this very very hectic and possibly very long uh get ready with me I'm not going anywhere to be honest but it is what it is right so thank you for wa watching <laughs> thank you for watching I think I've said that like four times already uh, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments like what videos you want to watch from me to make tell me what to make tell me what to do uh, because sometimes I really have zero idea what I'm doing um, and I guess that's okay uh, thank you and I will see you guys in my next one bye a few moments later I just put the cleanser on the oil cleanse the cleansing gel oil and I'm just waiting it for it to like melt the glue and hopefully it'll come off in one piece let's see oh oh, oh no I think that was part of the lash um, not my lash. Okay, let's see. Let's try again. Oh, it's a little painful. Oh, oh, here we go. Yay, I got one. Yeah. Bye.